All right, there was a fake post put out yesterday by the SEC regarding the old Bitcoin ETF approval. Uh, they say a hacker seized an SEC phone number and they used it to post a fake Bitcoin ETF approval. The uh, revelation raises questions about the investments, regulatory security protocols. These guys are a shit show, a clown show. Come on, man. Look who's running this stuff. Be afraid. This guy, Secretary Chair Gary Gensler. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going on with this country. We're falling apart. The SEC did not employ basic security measures on its X, formerly Twitter, account when it was compromised to spread false Bitcoin ETF news. Yeah. Late Tuesday, X safety team. X's safety team. Remember the first safety team of Twitter point one? They should all be in prison. Uh, yeah, the Jaya and the other guy. Oh my God, criminals. Thank God Elon Musk went in there to clean up that mess. Uh, let's see, free speech matters, guys. Let's see, the SEC market, market, moving, market moving, false post on approval of the uh, Bitcoin ETF applications, which the regulator blamed on its compromise account. I don't know, man. I bet they did it on purpose, and now they're blaming a hacked account. I don't trust these guys. Do not trust them. They're part of the big club that we ain't in, and maybe they're doing it to manipulate things. The compromise was not due to any breach of X's systems, but rather due to an unidentified individual obtaining control over a phone number associated with the SEC Gov account through a third party. Ah, oh, please, come on. They must really think we're first, first the uh, thing that happened a couple of years ago. And now this, come on. It is unacceptable that the agency entrusted with regulating the epicenter of the world's capital markets would make such a colossal error. Oh, my God. And here's old Gary. Hey, Gary. How are you? This is a reminder to secure your financial accounts as well as protecting against identity theft and fraud. Oh, my God. You guys did this on purpose. We can also confirm that the account did not have two-factor authentication. What a bunch of crap. Oh, there's Norm. Turns out the SEC was worried about the wrong security. People know, people are smart today, man. These guys are, these SEC guys are just a bunch of clowns. They're probably best friends with James, uh, that's that guy, Kramer. Oh my God, let's go over here real quick. Now, as of a few hours ago, US senators, dun, 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 more clowns. Demand explanation for SEC's fake Bitcoin ETF approval tweet. Senators J.D. Vance and Tom Tillis wrote to express concern. Ooh, concern. Ooh, I'm so afraid. They're expressing concern and they're requesting clarity regarding the SEC's social media blunder. Was it a blunder or was it actually strategically done on purpose? Do not trust these people. Do not believe anything they say. Come on, guys. Figure it out. It's all a game and we're just the little pawns in this. Two U.S. senators... All right, they're all concerned about the fake tweet. They're really concerned, guys. Oh, I'm. You're bad. You're evil. You you put out a fake tweet on purpose to maybe manipulate the market. We're concerned. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. Um, we're gonna make you stand in the corner with a dunce hat on for a minute. Oh my God, it's so it's so embarrassing. They think we're idiots. Oh, uh, as the world, listen, as the crypto world, if not the world itself, waited, waited with bated breath, or is that stinky breath, to see if the SEC would approve one or more spot Bitcoin ETFs Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday. The regulator's Twitter account appeared to confirm that multiple ETFs had been given a green light. Minutes later, minutes later, SEC Chair Gunsack took to Twitter to announce that the regulator's account, old Gensler, had been compromised. Oh, please. And that an unauthorized tweet was posted. Unauthorized tweet. What does that even mean? He clarified that SEC has not approved the listing and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange ETFs. Oh my God. Let's see. Vance and Tillis wrote that a fake SEC announcement and subsequent attraction led to extreme volatility in the price of Bitcoin. I'm sick of reading this, guys. It's all, we're all being played. The senators are concerned mainly because they're in the game. They, uh, they are inside trading, which they can do. Uh, there's a whole couple websites about how they track all the Congress members' 
stock buys and they have to re have to report most of them because they don't they don't have to follow the rules they set aside for everyone else rules for thee but not for me but you can go on these websites and see the old nancy pelosi buying tesla buying nvidia you can get up-to-date information well it's a month behind right you can see what what stocks these guys are selling and you can uh you can play along if you want and it does kind of work sometimes with nvidia boom shot to the moon i did sell it once it once i broke even because it did tank 20 percent. but then right after i sold it dude it went up holy crap i'm an idiot but yeah these guys are all criminals play the game with them if you want you might uh you can bitch and moan but you can play the game and maybe make a few dollars and not be a slave at your coj crappy old job where you are in a job just over broke anyway that's all i got you guys buy this bs about this fake twitter tweet and uh what's funny is on my apple app this shows you how deep it goes guys come on let's talk about this boom on my stock page right i noticed it yesterday and you click on this stupid worthless apple app and uh they had it as as the top news right and i i mean i'm just making sure it's not there again six hours so yeah it's not there they pulled it down they actually put out the fake tweet saying that oh someone put out this fake tweet from the sec and they actually reported i think it was from maybe coindesk or someone or reuters so even apple is censoring news about this on their financial page there you go guys it's a big club and we ain't in it all right go forth, protect your accounts they'll still get into them because they have the keys they have the passwords just watch out all right good times what a what a what a what a clown show